This is the purest definition of history. Hey guys, welcome back to the Alexander Bittar History Channel. My name is Alexander Bittar and we're doing this in collaboration with Metropole Stockholm. By now, I'm sure you've already read the headline and this is an item connected to Adolf Hitler. And before we begin, I just want to clarify one thing and this is very important. We do not agree at all with anything that Hitler stood for or what the Nazi party stood for. This is our take to showcase history. And history includes good and bad things. You cannot exclude the bad things and only talk about the good things. And that's why we feel it's okay to actually show this type of item, although it's connected to such a bad human being. But the best thing with history is that we can look back at it and learn from the past. And by looking at the bad things, most notably the Second World War, the beliefs of the Nazi party, Adolf Hitler, that's a good way to learn what not to do in the future. And that's why we're doing this. Simple as that. I get emails and phone calls every day from people all around the world asking me to buy their items. And I've always said that there's two things I don't buy. A big items like a car or such. I don't like when it's too large pieces. It's difficult to handle. And number two, I don't buy anything related to Hitler and the Nazi party. But obviously this is an exception. And when I got the email regarding this item, the subject line was Hitler letter. Of course, I got to open it and see what it is. And the first thing I saw was that this is handwritten and signed by Hitler. And that's a very, very rare thing. I would say that 99% out of all signed letters by Hitler are not written by him. They are either written by his secretary, he had a few, or they are written like typewritten with the stationery and just signed by his name. But this item is handwritten in full and signed as well. So that's very, very rare. The next step was to actually see what's written. And it's written in German, obviously. So I got a transcript in German and then a translation into English. And when you do this, you gotta involve different parties. You can't have the same person doing the transcript and then the translation. So I got all of that set. And when I actually could read the content, it blew my mind totally. If we look closely at this letter, we see that it's printed Adolf Hitler at the top. And again, this is a very long letter written on both sides. So this is something that he actually took time into writing. It's not just a note that takes a few seconds. This is something that the most evil man in history actually took time into writing and it makes it so incredibly interesting piece. This is the purest definition of history. This letter is written by Hitler to Winifred Wagner and Winifred was married to Siegfried Wagner. Siegfried Wagner was the son of Richard Wagner, the internationally acclaimed composer who also was Hitler's idol. So we have a great connection with someone Hitler admired. And we gotta also say that Richard Wagner is strongly connected with Hitler and the Nazi party, although he died in 1883. But due to the fact that Hitler loved him so much, he is now connected with them. So his legacy is in a way destroyed, which some could argue that that's unfair, but that's how it is. So let's dig into the letter and I will read a few highlighted parts and then give you some comments. My honored and dear Vinny, for weeks and weeks, I'm again involved in a difficult and hard work 
troubles and worries. I do not know whether you are able to understand me altogether. Only I beg of you to forgive me, at least that I express my thanks only today for a present with which you gave me the most beautiful pleasure. So Hitler is beginning the letter by referencing her as Vinny. That's a clear statement that this is a personal letter. It's a nickname of her. But what's absolutely incredible with the first sentence is that Hitler begs for forgiveness. That is not what we would think of Adolf Hitler due to his persona. We could never ever believe that someone like him would beg for someone's forgiveness. And that's why this letter is truly incredible. I cannot overcome myself to be like the years before. So I must beg you very heartily to accept my thanks. Again, he's begging her to understand him. Remarkable. I can't understand today why in my youth Richard Wagner and his fate meant more to me than so many other great Germans. It may be the same suffering of the eternal fight against hatred, envy and ignorance. Now we get the reference to his idol, Richard Wagner. And it's so interesting that he's referring to the envy and the hatred and the ignorance, which is things that actually Hitler fought against and what brought uh, the German people to his side. He continues by writing, You will be good enough to me and accept it today. Also that I wish you and the children for this year everything good out of the bottom of my heart everything anyone could wish you we see a side of hitler that we've never seen before he is kind he is friendly he is loving i mean who could ever imagine that and the letter ends by the following once again thanks and loyal greetings good luck and blessings. Yours, Adolf. The fact that he signed the letter with his first name only is also a testament that this is a personal and private letter. If it would be an official letter or document, he would sign it with his full name. But now we only have the first name. Notably, Hitler and Winifred Wagner corresponded for nearly two decades. However, scholars haven't been able to see those letters as they are still with the family of Winifred Wagner and her grandchildren do not want to release them to the public. However, this is an exception as it's owned by me. So it's in private hands and I'm not saying that this is the only one, but surely it's very, very rare. And as, again, the fact that this is handwritten is a very unique aspect of it which makes it super rare in terms of Hitler letters but also the fact that it's such a personal and private subject it makes it truly truly remarkable one cannot argue with the fact that Hitler is probably the most evil man in history at least he's the very absolute symbol of evilness and that's why I at least find it to be interesting to see another side of him. I'm not at all defending him, but as I said in the beginning, it's so important to keep such pieces for the next generations, because history is something we learn from. And with that said, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Please follow, like and comment. It would truly be interesting to see and hear your thoughts about this item. Is it too controversial or is it something we can speak about? Thank you so much and until next time, take care.